There is someone who has been harboring some feelings for you for some time now, but they have been keeping these feelings close to their chest and have done what they could to keep them concealed from you. But after all of this time, they know that they cannot and should not keep their feelings to themselves anymore. It is time for them to be honest with you and to themselves also. But this is not like in a morning they think it's high time there is something behind this. This revelation may come out of the blue to you as they have been somewhat dishonest for a while now. You may have felt this coming, but who is this person? You might already have an idea, but there is a twist you won't see coming. When it comes to the strength of their feelings, just understand that each their glance, every touch, is infused with an energy that speaks of a love that goes beyond the ordinary. They are devoted to you, and this devotion becomes a source of strength, forming a foundation upon which your connection grows, if you may. They become acutely attuned to your needs, joys, and sorrows. Your happiness becomes their joy and your pain, their ache. This is why you are receiving this message today, so that you are better equipped to handle this situation. You may not currently feel prepared for this kind of love, but now you have time to think it. Over and listen to your heart. Ask yourself in the question, are you able to emotionally reciprocate this feeling to them at this point of time? The sudden revelation of someone's deep and profound love can be overwhelming. The intensity of their emotions, bearing their soul and expressing vulnerability, might leave you feeling inundated with a rush of emotions that you may not have anticipated. The unexpected nature of such a confession can lead to surprise and even disbelief. It might take a moment to process the depth of their feelings, especially if you were unaware of the extent of their emotions. The vulnerability and openness displayed by the person in love may prompt you to question your own feelings. Are your emotions on the same wavelength? If the answer is no, your mind is not ready for this relationship. Your heart is pounding to see this person to feel their love, but you must understand what expectations did they harbor, and how did those align with your own? The one expressing love will lay bare their expectations and desires. Navigating these expectations while understanding your own feelings can be perplexing. Questions about the future of the relationship and the expectations may arise. When they confess their love, their expectation will hung in the air, almost tangible. So, understand your whole situation and priorities because you need to act according to your situation. As you reflected on your own emotions, there was this delicate balancing act you had to perform. On one hand, there was the sincerity and depth of their feelings that you needed to acknowledge. On the other, you had to be true to yourself and recognize the nuances of your own heart. It was like juggling emotions, ensuring you didn't downplay theirs while also honoring the authenticity of your feelings. A tricky feat, indeed. Now about the person about whom this message is all about. There's this aura around them, a subtle energy that lingers when they're near. It's like there's a secret language in their glances, and you catch those moments when they think no one's watching. There's an undeniable warmth in their presence, like a gentle glow that follows them around. You sense it in the way they talk, too. A certain softness, a hint of something more beneath the surface. Yet, the enigma lies in not knowing when or how they'll take that leap. It's like waiting for a plot twist in a movie you're not entirely sure you're starring in. There's a curiosity that accompanies this hunch, an anticipation of the day when they might gather the courage to express what you've been sensing all along. Here are some direct words and a promise from the Father. This message holds ancient wisdom, giving you the keys to unlock the secrets of your soul. The Father says today, Son and daughter, open your eyes and your heart to greater blessing and higher callings. Do not allow the mundane things of life to clip your wings or steal your joy. 
trials and struggle have their end. Trials and struggles will exhaust themselves and have an end because the energy that drives them does not come from my throne, but from the domain of darkness. You will not be held bound, for I have declared life over you and life more abundantly. I am reaching today into that guarded place within you, where you have hoped against hope for things to be different than they have been. I am breathing new life, new hope, and new joy into you. I am placing you on an ascension footing out of deprivation, struggle, and the strife of tongues. Your life and your person will not be defined by human limitations or past regrets. Your life will be defined by my promise, my presence, my provision, and my protection that is even now released as a canopy of favor over you in full and complete measure this very day. Today, Father want to share a message of hope, a reminder of the boundless blessings and higher callings that await you. It's easy to get caught up in the routines of life, to let the everyday struggles steal your joy and weigh down your spirit. But I'm here to tell you that these trials, these challenges that you face, have their limits. They are not endless, for the source of these struggles does not originate from my divine throne, but from the realm of darkness. It's time to open your eyes and your heart wide to the greater blessings that I have in store for you. The wearisome battles you fought are not the end of your story. The turmoil and strife that have plagued you will lose their power over you for I have declared a life of abundance and fulfillment over your days. Know this, the struggles you face will eventually exhaust themselves because their energy source is not divine, but rather of a darker nature. You will not remain in captivity, for I have decreed that you shall be free. Your life is marked by liberty and the promise of something new. Today, I reach deep into that sacred place within you, where you've clung to hope, even when circumstances seemed bleak. I breathe into your spirit new life, renewed hope, and unending joy. The well of hope within you is replenished, and you'll see your world in a new light. I am lifting you higher, out of the depths of deprivation and the clamor of voices that seek to pull you down. Your life will not be defined by human limitations or by past regrets. Instead, it will be defined by my unwavering promises, my constant presence, my abundant provision, and my divine protection. I am releasing over you today a canopy of favor, a shield of grace that will envelop you in every way. You are bathed in my favor, and it will touch every aspect of your life. So, my beloved, hold your head up high, for the favor and blessings I bestow upon you are without bounds. You are not limited by earthly constraints or past mistakes. Your future is illuminated by my promise, my presence, my provision, and my protection. Embrace this day and the abundance it brings. The Father says today, allow generosity of spirit to flow through you today like water. I live on the inside of you. Give me room to move in and through you to others. Love unconditionally. Give lavishly. Forgive unreasonably. Love, give, and forgive until your love scandalizes the small-minded religious professors whose love has grown cold. Reach out to the undeserving and those who haven't loved you back. Let your testimony toward them be, I am going to love you and there is nothing you can do about it. This is the audacity of love, says the Father. Men can place restriction and constraints upon you, but the nature of love is to break out and flow out to the lowest common denominator of relationship and expectation. 
Love is a spiritual geography to itself that is alien to failure or defeat. So export all your hopes, dreams, and petitions to the geography of love. For that is where faith's fullest measure spontaneously gives substance to every vision and dream born in your heart by my incorruptible seed. Today, the Father's message resonates like a gentle breeze, urging us to open the floodgates of generosity that dwell within our spirit. He reminds us that His divine essence resides within us, ever ready to flow out into the world. It's an invitation to love unconditionally, give without restraint, and forgive beyond reason. Our love is not bound by conditions or expectations, and this boundless love may baffle those with limited, cold hearts. The Father calls us to extend our love to the undeserving, even to those who haven't reciprocated our affections. Our testimony toward them is audacious. I will love you, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's a declaration that resounds with the audacity of love itself. This is the nature of love, says the Father. While the world may impose restrictions and limitations, love knows no boundaries. It defies the constructs of human relationships and expectations, and it surges forth even to the least deserving. Love exists in a spiritual realm of its own, untouched by failure or defeat. Therefore, we are encouraged to transfer our hopes dreams, and deepest desires to the landscape of love. In this sacred space, faith takes root, giving substance to every vision and dream, sown within our hearts by the incorruptible seed of the Creator. In this expansive outlook, we discover that love is an inexhaustible reservoir, an eternal spring that continually renews itself. It's a reminder that Within the geography of love, there are no limitations, no disappointments, and no defeats. So, let's heed the Father's call, allowing the generosity of our spirits to flow like a river of love, quenching the parched hearts of those we encounter. In this audacious outpouring of love, we may witness the miraculous as faith takes hold and turns our dreams and visions into tangible realities